I have heard enough of people saying that Karo Khan is boring. And when we play Karo Khan, the results are mostly draws. And then Karo Khan is very defensive and blah, blah, blah. Well, I'm here today to tell you that it's not. And how you can win games quickly as well with the Karo Khan. Now, let's begin with this game that I played yesterday. Uh, my open starts off with d4. I went with c6. Opponent goes for c4. Here comes d5. Open can take here and does. I take back. Open plays a knight to c3, attacking the pawn. I went with e6. All the pawn was defended already. With the queen, uh, generally e6 is not played before developing the bishop. But my idea here was to put my bishop maybe on b7 eventually. So that works for me. Open plays a knight to f3. Uh, I here try to pin the knight by placing b4, uh, bishop on b4, open place bishop to f4. Here comes knight c6, attacking the pawn in the center, defending the bishop. Just a normal little up and move, open place e3. Here I place my queen on a5, uh, making a battery here, uh, trying to attack the knight uh, and gain the extra rook with a check. So open has to defend it. Only one defender of the knight so far, with, which is the pawn on b2. So here comes queen to c2, defending the same. Here I develop another piece, knight to f6. Open goes with bishop to d3. Now opponent is about to castle. Uh, so I thought, let me first attack the bishop uh, with my knight on h5. Uh, so that the bishop, even if goes back, I can take. If it comes in front, still I can take with the knight. So I'm pretty good here. Uh, open goes back with the bishop. Uh, I take on the knight first. Uh, so that if opponent takes with the queen, maybe I can take back with the queen and uh, have a, um, some opening of the b-file. Maybe if the c-file gets opened up, I can take advantage of that with knight coming on to b4 as well. There's one opportunity. Opponent takes with the pawn instead. Now I take the bishop. Opponent takes back with the pawn. And in this position, I play h6. Uh, not allowing opponent to take the extra pawn there because of uh, three attackers there already on the pawn. So I want to save the pawn, open castles. Here I place a6, preventing any moves like a rook coming first here and then bishop on to b5. Uh, open place pawn forward, uh, c4. I take here, open takes back. And now I just swing over the queen to h5. Open place rook to d1. Here I castle. Open place pawn forward, trying to break open the center. I take the pawn, open takes back with the bishop, and here comes the folk from b4, attacking the queen as well as the bishop. So it's a decent position to be in. Uh, and also, if you see, queen is also attacking the bishop. So I already have got two attackers on the bishop, which is only defended with the uh, rook right now. Open plays pawn forward. That was strange. Trying to kick my queen, maybe deflect the second defender from there. Maybe open wants me to either trade off the queens, but that is also not helping because if I take the bishop and opponent takes back, I can take the queen as well. So that works in my favor. If I take the pawn, then opponent can probably uh, try and maneuver the queen out of the way. Then only knight is defending it, uh, attacking the bishop and rook is defending it. So it's okay. Maybe that was what my opponent thought, but here comes bishop to g4, taking on the pawn as well. Uh, this battery is nicely lined up. Uh, again, I'm still attacking both the pieces with my knight. Opponent takes on, tries to sacrifice the bishop, uh, which doesn't work out because maybe my opponent thought I can bring back the queen, but I can take with the rook as well. And now in this position, opponent plays queen to c4, and I take on the knight. Opponent takes the, my knight with the queen and loses the rook as well. So it's 10.7 the advantage to black already with a couple of rooks in the game. Opponent cannot take the bishop because, again, queen is defending it. Uh, so bishop will eventually be saved from there. And I have extra rook and a bishop. That's a huge advantage in the game. So that was pretty much quickly game over in 20 second move. And the Karukan, like always, I have put up a lot of content on the Karukan because I'm a regular Karukan player, uh, and it has been aggressive as well a lot of times. This was probably one of the decent ones, not to, to a great extent aggressive, but 
that's how you quickly can turn around things. 22 moves is not bad at all. It's not boring. And it was a hell of fun. I hope you enjoyed the video. Do let me know your feedback. Keep watching and sharing. Please do subscribe to the channel as I'm creating a lot of content on a daily basis. And that's helpful as well. I hope you enjoyed it. Do let me know your feedback. And please do subscribe. Thanks for your time. Take care. Bye-bye.